Hey everyone, so we're back. Uh, in the last episode, we looked at how to orbit Pan and Dolly around the viewport to be able to look around things. It's really important. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, in this episode, we are going to look at selecting objects, which is also very important and something that's you have to do correctly and, and somewhat precisely to work with Cine Designer. It's not... Um, it's designed to select things in a certain way, so I just want to make sure that this makes sense to you guys on a basic level. So let's get into let's get into Cinema 4D. So we have our cube again, and if you haven't touched anything, you'll be in move mode most likely. But uh, let me start with something else. So if you go up here, you'll see if you click that, this is called selection mode, and the first one is rectangle select. So anything that goes in this rectangle gets selected. And um, to deselect, you can just tap, or you can select nothing. Uh, so you, you select like this, so if there's multiple objects, you're going to pick all of them. And what I want to show you also with this is that when you select things, over here in this window, I'm going to get rid of Cine Designer for now so that this is a little bit simpler. Um, we have our first panel, and there's really not that many panels, so you're in luck um, compared to some other programs. Uh, this is really the only one you have to worry about for quite a while. And what it is, is it's essentially just a list of all the objects in your scene. Eventually that list will be um, set pieces, cameras, tripods, lights. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to the fun stuff, the Cine Designer stuff real soon. Uh, but we have to go over the basics because uh, this is for people who've never touched a 3D program again uh, in their life. Or they're just coming to Cinema 4D from, say, Maya or something like that, or Blender or SketchUp or any, any, any other 3D program. So when you select something... Uh, it shows up as orange over here as highlighted. I unselect it. Um, it goes back to gray. So that's pretty straightforward. The other way to select things in Cinema 4D is called live selection. And this essentially, instead of selecting a box, um, basically whatever you click and drag over gets selected. So it's kind of like painting. So let me just do one thing for you here. Don't worry about how this works. If you kind of want to know, if you hold control and you move an object in Cinema 4D, it makes another object. But we'll go over that later. Uh, so when I'm selecting with live selection, I select this one, I'm holding down left click, and I can pick this one too. So if there's like five objects in a row, I can just go whoop and select them all. And again, you'll see over here in the object panel that it's the same thing. And this, uh, the object panel is always a rectangle select. So you can select multiple things. Um, so there, that's, that's basically how we select things in Cinema 4D. Is there anything else to go over? Oh yeah. Um, so if you want to get to those things, uh, you can hit zero on your keyboard is the, is the shortcut, the default shortcut, and you're in rectangle select. Uh, and if you hit nine, you end up in paint select or live selection. So those are helpful and you're gonna be hitting zero and nine a lot because they're, uh, so a lot of your job is selecting things in Cinema 4D, especially with Cine Designer. So that is a look at selecting things. Um, try to keep these tutorials nice and short so that you don't have to sit through an hour a uh, long tutorial just to get to one thing. I'm trying to have these really be re really modular. So if you're having trouble selecting things, it's going to be difficult uh, for you. You don't quite get it. It's not like the program you used to use or you've never done 3D before. This is how we select things in Cinema 4D. Um, I definitely suggest going and practicing, moving around the viewport and selecting things. Really important. Look at the objects panel. There's a bunch of stuff on there that you actually don't need to know right now. Um, but look at the look at the objects panel. Look look around the viewport and select some stuff. In the next episode, we're going to talk about moving and rotating objects, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. And it's uh, it's a really fun thing to do in Cinema 4D, and it's going to allow you to be able to create scenes like rooms or exteriors really quickly. It's a, it's it's a fun thing. So uh, we're going to do that in the next episode. See you soon.